Sorry. Okay. Uh, many thanks for joining uh, our cloud migration uh, presentations. And uh, uh, I'm DJ. Uh, I'm founder and managing director of Z Converter. Uh, my background is the, I founded my company as 11 years ago. Uh, we first founded my company. I was working for the IBM and LG as a subject matter expert and principal of virtualization and high performance cluster. And Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our vision is to help the enterprise of cloud service providers to make the cloud migration as simple and easy. And our z cloud migration is uh, open stack compatible software, and our company is one of the open stack corporate sponsors. Uh, is there anybody uh, who, who is first time to hear about the IaaS or open stack? Yeah, perfect. Okay, Every know, everybody know well this OpenStack and the IaaS. And the uh, physical to virtual migration is uh, uh, automated physical server to virtual migration without reinstalling the uh, application and operating system. And uh, uh, this four is uh, P2C is the today's topic. P2C or V2C or cloud to cloud migration is the, also the uh, automated cloud migration technology without reinstalling the applications and the operating system. Uh, let's look at this uh, simple demo, the physical, the virtual migration. And actually, this is a very simple uh, process to move your physical server to a virtual machine like VMware, the Hyper-V, KVM. First tab is the uh, copy. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. Copy. Actually, this process is like a copy and paste process. And uh, second step is paste. And run the converting. Uh, you can open running your new virtual machines. Because of their technology, as uh, VMware is one of the uh, fastest growing company. I uh, prefer the P2V migration technology. Uh, VMware's growth rate is uh, uh, much slower than the market expectations. Yeah. Actually, the, these guys are supporting the P2V migration technology. They are providing the, actually, that company is uh, helping the enterprise to a reinstallation problem. They solve the reinstallation problem when enterprise go to the virtualizations. Okay. And the funny thing is that uh, most of enterprise or cloud service providers are focusing on the cloud services. And the funny thing is that a similar uh, issue is still, there's many reinstallation problem is still existing in the cloud migration. Do you know why? Because many people, some people thinking we still using the physical to virtual migration technology in order to move the on-premises to the cloud, OpenStack cloud, but that is not true. Actually, the P2V vendors cannot support cloud migration. Uh, do you know why? Okay, uh, let's think about the why cannot they support the physical to cloud migrations. Uh, actually, the, uh, this is the OpenStack uh, architecture, and uh, and uh, OpenStack is a cloud platform, and or the OpenStack is cloud operating system. Even though there is no kernel, the everything is runs like a cloud operating system. It means that uh, this hypervised level is they are also the one of the uh, operating system. They have uh, owned the kernel. Uh, P2V migration technology support this hypervised level. However, when you look at the uh, uh, OpenStack cloud operating system, hypervisor like VMware, the KVM, and Xeon is one of the OpenStack component. It means the hypervisor uh, uh, doesn't have any the operating system position. It means in order to open running the migrated to the new uh, cloud instance staff, to the OpenStack, you have to uh, meet the two uh, 
two conditions. First thing is you have to meet this hypervisor migrated condition. Second thing is you have to follow the uh, OpenStack cloud migrations uh, registration process or a controlled process. Uh, actually, P2V migration tool omit this process. The cloud migration, cloud operating systems registration process. Because of that, when you try to migrate your on-premises to the uh, KVM is belong to the OpenStack, your migrated cloud instances will not working properly. Uh, actually, we uh, solved this problem. We are now the providing the on-premise to OpenStack cloud migration by a few clicks. Now, you don't have to reinstall the operating system and application. Also, you can move your uh, virtual machines like VMware, the Hyper-V to OpenStack. And, or if you want to move your Azure public cloud instances to the OpenStack cloud, you can do by a few clicks. You don't have to reinstall the application. And uh, uh, sooner or later, we are going to support uh, OpenStack to public cloud, Azure or AWS because the uh, most of enterprise companies and Gartner forecast this, this by 2017, uh, more than 50% enterprise is going to use the high, hybrid cloud. They may using may, they may running the OpenStack uh, as a private cloud, and also they are running they are using the public cloud like this Azure, or AWS, and Google Cloud Platform. Because of that, the, the cloud cloud uh, technology should be uh, supported. Yeah, the, this is the most supported uh, list. Actually, we, we our company is uh, supporting OpenStack, and also Azure is, is going to support it in November next month, and AWS AWS will also be supported, and also uh, KVM and VMware Jan hypervisors are supported, and also we are supporting the disk from like this. Uh, during the cloud migrations, uh, if your virtual machine is VMware, the disk format is VMDK. If we want to uh, convert this VMDK to QCOW2, we are supporting the converting the disk format from the VHD to QCOW2, the VMDK to QCOW2. And also, we are supporting the Windows and Linux operating system. Uh, this is the uh, conceptual automated cloud migration process. Very simple. Our first step is creating a new cloud instances to your OpenStack cloud. And the second thing is uh, imaging process. And third thing is replicating these women to the target OpenStack cloud. Final step is converting. And that's it. You don't have to reinstall your application as the operating system in order to move your on-premises to the cloud. And uh, the better thing is, uh, uh, during you're running your source machine, you can do the uh, cloud migration. We are supporting live migrations like this woman. Okay. Yeah, this is use case. Uh, uh, we are helping the public cloud migration for the Korea Telecom. Korea Telecom is the largest the public cloud uh, vendor in South Korea, and they announced the uh, cloud migration services in February this year. And also, the, uh, one of the big company is going to move the 500 servers to the private OpenStack cloud. And actually, this is just a starting project. Uh, if they succeeded in these 500 server cloud migrations, uh, next year, they are going to move a few thousand servers to the OpenStack private cloud. And another opportunity, uh, the 700 servers is going to be migrated to the private OpenStack cloud. And also, we are the, talking about the cloud migration technology with Google Cloud Platform team in Mountain View. And perhaps uh, our cloud migration technology is going to be uh, integrated with Google Cloud Platform, uh, perhaps uh, early next year. Now, this is the cloud migration software as a services model. It's very simple. If we wanted to migrate your on-premises to the OpenStack cloud, Please to access this www.gcloud.net. And first step is login. And the second step is to register your source machine. And it's a very simple process. Just to download your agent file. 
to your source machine. Uh, then uh, our cloud migration website will identify your source machine. And third step, in our uh, uh, automatic cloud demo, uh, first step was creating the cloud instances. Actually, you can create your new cloud instances from our website. You don't have to go to the OpenStack cloud. Uh, just log in from our website, and uh, you can start to your creating, creating your new cloud instances. Uh, first step is starting the cloud migration. Now, when you click this next button, you can uh, start the imaging and replicating and converting process at the same time, but automatically. Yeah, you know, fifth step is complete. Uh, this is the demo video. Same uh, process. Uh, this is the cloud migration demo. Uh, left side is the source machine. We are going to move that source machine to the uh, target OpenStack cloud. The first step is to register the source machine, the download the agent, and the this is the information your source machine. Uh, identify our website. And choose the uh, drive you want to move to the OpenStack cloud, and choose the repository. And click Next. And this is the login process to your OpenStack cloud. And after this uh, login process, you can create your cloud instance TS from our website. The third step is creating the cloud instances. You can type the instance name. You can choose the flavor, like uh, one CPU, four gigabyte memory, for blah, blah, blah. And uh, choose the operating system. You should have to choose the same operating system with uh, source machines. If you're running the Linux, you choose. Uh, you have to choose the Linux operating system. Yeah, this uh, processing the creating the cloud instances. Now, first step is uh, registering the cloud instances, target created instances in order to move your source machine to the new cloud instances. Yeah, we are starting the migration. The first step is imaging. And the second step is replicating from the source machine's image to the target the cloud instances. This converting step, this is the final step. When you're finishing this converting step, you can up and running your new cloud instance. Yes. And actually, if you want to move your virtual machine to the OpenStack cloud, or physical machines to the OpenStack cloud, or the Azure or AWS or cloud instance, yes, the cloud, OpenStack cloud, the process will be the same, no difference. Yes. Because we are using the, our own MEGN technology. Uh, we don't use the open, open source technology. Because we, our company has two original technology. First one is image technology. Second one is migration technology. This is final step. Uh, this is the migrated the target server. You can, we can compare the source machine and target machine is the same. Finishing? Okay. Okay. Any questions? Actually, very simple. Our migration is copy and paste. You don't have to reinstall the applications, like a P2V migration. A uh, network layer. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, have you? Uh, ever experienced it to the, to the uh, physical to virtual migration? Uh, actually, the, uh, like uh, uh, network layers, uh, before starting the cloud migrations, you have to consider the network layer when you're creating the, your target cloud instances.
uh, actually, uh, if your the target server is providing the uh, DHCP, uh, you don't have to uh, customize any network configurations. However, if you have the different IP structures, blah, 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 in that case, you have to design about this uh, network before the migrating. Ah, that's a good question. Okay. Okay, that's a good question. For the database, for the database, we are supporting the block level replication. First time you are sending the full imaging file to the target. Uh, the second step is uh, replicating the changes data. Actually, changes block data from source machine to the target. Uh, you can dramatically reduce the services downtime. This process will be done uh, when you're running your server. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, yeah, last time, very last time, very short, okay? And during the replication, during migration, you don't have to shutting down your server, okay? Yeah, that, that, that is possible. Uh, actually, your private cloud, if you download our agent, and if you allow the access from our migration software to your, your private network, uh, you can migrate your private cloud instances to the Azure public cloud. Okay. You have to allow to access. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you are uh, providing a VPN, that that will be much better. Okay. Um, also, if you want to migrate in a private cloud environment, we are providing the uh, migration software appliances. Okay. You don't have to access the public network. Okay. You can do in your private network everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that's right. That's just software appliances. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, if you have more question or details, please visit our T sixty one. Our footage is located over there. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a good lunch.